I look over. There's a little gator. Just yeah, there's a little baby gator. Right there. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> Our shock. <laughs> Do I sound like a little kid? <laughs> you guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can tell, it is morning time. The sun is just rising. We got Dan and Shell here with us. Oh, yeah. Capturing it in all their glory. So, if you guys are not following them, definitely go check them out at Dan and Shell oh. on both YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> stuff's amazing. You better believe they're going to capture <laughs> the sunrise amazingly. We have something so fun planned for this morning. Mm -hmm. That is why we are getting up bright and early. Yes. These two guys edited late last night so they could be up ready to go. We are doing something we have never done before here in Florida, which is crazy. And we cannot wait to go out and show you, but we're gonna keep it a surprise until <laughs> we get there. You guys know we love our surprises. <laughs> What are we looking at right now? We're looking at gators! That is right, we are on our way to do an airboat tour. We actually talked with the owner of the company that we're going with and he said the best time to go in the summer is early in the morning because it's not too hot. So the gators, when it gets too hot, they like to hide and you have less of a chance of seeing them. So we are going bright and early. We are super excited. Just got on the airboard right now, and this thing is awesome. It's crazy. There's like all these benches right here that you can sit on. They're actually pretty darn comfortable. That is our captain right there. His name is Captain Gerald. He is the man. So he actually lives out on the Everglades. We're going to his house right now, which is amazing. But he knows this place backwards and forwards. And he said that he's actually going to be taking us to a gator nest. that this cabin back here has been here for a super long time and they're actually protected by the state. The building right here has as much amenities as like a normal motel room. It's got air conditioning, it's got beds, it's got a stove, it's got carpet. Generator, Generators. Power. That is so crazy cool. to be able to live off the land like that this far away out in the middle of nowhere, literally in the Everglades. The coolest thing in the world.
we just learned that this little nest right here, this is actually an alligator's nest. Unfortunately, they're not here right now. But he was also telling us that this tall grass right here is called sawgrass, and we picked it up. It is like super sharp. Razor sharp. Yeah, razor sharp. So he's basically telling us like, don't hold your hands out trying to touch the grass as you go by because you can literally cut your hand. And you guys, they were saying it takes alligators so long to come and build these nests. Once they build it, they lay their eggs and then cover it up. Yeah. And they're saying they protect it. How cool is that? Yeah. And then he awesome. also just told us that when they have kids, the worst enemy is actually the dad. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I to never think about. That. I never would have thought that in a million years. My goodness you guys so this is captain gerald's house he has rebuilt it he said it burned down one time but he has literally rebuilt this look at this this is incredible he has a full-on yard trees everything out here and he was telling us you've been on a ton of tv shows tons of videos there's a gator out there <gasps> Oh my they goodness. Of, uh, had Desperate Housewives of Jersey out here, the Bachelor, the Swamp People out of Louisiana. What? They've all done movies here. So, wow. Yeah. You guys, there's a gator right out here. This is just so cool. Oh my goodness. There's fish. Wow. wow. Look at that. That's incredible. So you have 22 beds, you said, yes. throughout the property? Wow. He's got full on tons of couches here, huge table, huge kitchen. I feel like we're getting eaten alive though. Yeah, I've got bugs. a ton of getting lots of mosquito bites. And a ton of spiders have been flying at us on the boat. So that's been very A little bit more than comfort. <laughs> We hit the weeds and all the spiders from the weeds just fly out our faces. So with the hurricanes, you get hit pretty hard out here? Wilma was pretty rough, but we sustained it quite well. It actually wiped out, I think it was four cabins that was old and rotted. Really? But all of them been rebuilt now, so everything is stable. This is like a full on, just backyard. I know, he's just got a yard. But we're out here in the middle of the Everglades. Like, that is just mind blowing. All and right. you've been here for how many years? I've been here full time 12 years. 12 no. years, wow. Wow, you guys. This guy is like the nicest person in the world. Like, you if you guys, guys do a gator tour, you have to use Captain Trail because oh, he's nice. such a stud. This is and incredible. Let's just talk about his house really quick. His house is like in the middle of nowhere here in the Everglades, and he lives here by himself, and he built it by himself. It took him over 10 years, you guys. We're standing on the roof right now. I mean, look at this. We're just surrounded by the Everglades here. So I know this has been mentioned a few times, but his house has been in so many movies. In fact, he has an open door policy, which means he allows anyone to come to his house for any reason, no matter what. He says he has over 2,000 visitors every year. That is so cool. So if you guys are ever in Fort Lauderdale looking for a place, come to Gerald's. My yeah. goodness. This place is awesome. I cannot this believe it. So, so cool. There's gators in the front yard. Like this is the <laughs> ultimate airboat tour experience. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. All right, you guys, so we are just getting ready to leave his home. I look over there's a little gator just yeah, there's a little baby it. gator right there that is crazy how amazing is that Gerald, thank you so much. This was awesome. If you guys are ever coming to Southern Florida, you guys have to come to Everglades yeah, Airborne Excursions. Definitely ask for Captain Gerald because he is awesome. And you'll get be able to take a tour of his house, which like you guys saw, is in the middle of nowhere. This was amazing. We've never done anything like that before. Like be able to like just soar across on the water was just insane. It's just guys, so cool. And I should say, it was very thrilling because we had all sorts of bugs flying at us. Oh we were dying, 
Jared and Daniel were sitting behind me and Michelle, and they said just like cobwebs and everything were just like hitting us. You could see them coming too, and they were like boom or yeah, like right I had past quite them. a few dragonflies kind of just smack me on the head, so that was just a lot of fun. But honestly, it's all part of the experience. Oh it my was gosh, yeah, it so was awesome. Fun. Seriously, and I'm so glad we came in the morning because now it is getting really toasty out here. Yeah, it's, it's only 9:30. Really I know, and even on the airboat ride, I remember feeling like, oh, this is kind of warm out. We're yeah. going like 40 miles an hour. Yeah, but now it's like perfect. We just ended, but you guys, <laughs> our day is not over yet because oh we have something incredible coming up. We think it's going to be so awesome. We want to make today two videos. Because this experience alone definitely solidifies as being one vlog. Oh, it totally yeah. does. You guys, we have a little birthday surprise for our yes. spinners. So make sure you come back tomorrow to see what we are up to this afternoon. It's going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much <laughs> Especially with Finn. It's oh going to be gosh. so cool. We cannot wait. <laughs> we love you all so much and we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Love you. Bye.